Skipping school could put the brakes on teenage driving in Michigan if one lawmaker gets his way. Democrat State Representative Andy Shore of Lansing has introduced two bills that would fight truancy by suspending driver's licenses or denying them for kids who repeatedly miss school for six months. And joining us now is Fred T.C., a former federal prosecutor, and Ebony Williams, a criminal defense attorney. Good to see you both. Ebony, I'll Thanks start with you. you. How does the law work? What would this do if it were to become law? Well, Harris, here's the thing. There's a greater concern here about general society safety. So if a student is found willfully and repeatedly missing school for at least six months, a circuit judge could then decide to suspend that person's driving privileges for a time period of six months. So why do you need a law like this, Fred? Why do you need it? Because I think you need it. It's one more tool to, to com combat the terrible truancy that a lot of these school systems are suffering. And, and you know, look, the most important thing in a child's education is a parent. And, 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 you know, that's our job as parents. I have four sons. They go to school or else they're, you know, losing their driver's license is the least of their concerns. But in these uh -huh. instances where people have missed six, six months of school, the state doesn't have to extend them the privilege. And Ebony's 100% right. That's exactly what it is, the privilege of operating a motor vehicle. All right. I want the audience to understand how this works because there is a play for government here that, that really steps in front of the parent. And I want them to know. The the legislation would compel judges to notify the Secretary of State in cases of truancy. Then the Secretary of State would have to, dis to suspend the license of a juvenile found by a circuit court to be willfully and repeatedly absent from school for six months. You got a lot of levels of local and state government involved there. You yourself said, Fred, I have four boys. This would not be as bad as what I... Does this get in the way of parenting? No, the, you, the point that you made when you said, and you picked the right word about stepping in the front, in the front of the parent. Unfortunately, the parents nowhere to be found. They're nowhere to be found right. either literally or figuratively in that they are not getting their children to go to school. So ideally, this is the job of a parent. I don't believe it takes a village to raise a child. I believe it takes a family. But if the parents aren't gonna do their job, the state has a compelling interest to make sure its kids go to school and they step in. Uh, Absolutely, Ebony, real Harris. Quickly, your I last have to thought. agree with them. You agree. Yeah, I have okay. to agree with him on that, Harris, because here's the thing. There's <laughs> a greater right. safety right? concern here. <laughs> there is. There's a greater safety concern here that we all must have to be uh, accountable for. And again, this is about responsibility, Harris. Ultimately, we would love it if parents could be entrusted to ensure this responsibility. Correct. But driving is a privilege, and it is a responsibility as well. We want people to be safe and assertive on mm -hmm. the roads. And we can't entrust that. If you can't go to school, how are we to trust you uh, on our streets and highways? Just to play devil's advocate, what happens when that child needs to drive himself or herself to to school or, or to work when a parent can't step in to do that. You can't undo from your house what a judge has moved There's into place. So we'll bus. see what happens. Hold there on one second. There are buses to school. <laughs> Driving <laughs> are is buses. a privilege. In some areas. All right, real quickly, let's pause.